Well, the snow is really starting to come down here. This is a live look at I-5 just north of Everett. And this is not the only spot already seeing heavy snow tonight. Good evening. I'm Vanessa Mishanya, and we now have our first school closure. The Skycomish School District has just announced that they are closed for tomorrow. We've got team coverage of the winter weather tonight. Our reporters are spread across the Puget Sound region with the latest condition. Meteorologist Craig Herrera, he's got your latest forecast. He'll be on in just a bit, but first we go to Amy Marino in Snohomish County, where again the snow is really starting to pick up, Amy. Yeah, we're live here in Everett. It is really starting to snow here. Fortunately, it's still wet enough that it's not causing too many problems out here on the roadways. Now, earlier we were on I-5 in the Linwood area where it definitely was causing some problems. They actually had to shut down the 146, uh, 164 Street Southwest off ramp of I-5 North because they had some wrecks there because the conditions were so bad. They have now reopened that, but State Patrol was cautioning people. The conditions on I-5 can change very quickly. Earlier today, we talked to Washaw and they said it's going to be a very busy night for them. As the weather moves in, plows around the state hit the road. Let them do their job. They're out there trying to clear the roads. Don't crowd the plow. Before flakes even fall, they do pre-treatment. Then it's around the clock, salt and plowing. When we have a snow event like this, we, we prioritize the interstate highways. And so those are the, those are the first routes that we, we concentrate on. And we start fanning out towards the, the outlying areas. As the state works to get ready. Well, I'll get this one. Many homeowners are doing the same. At this Ace Hardware in Edmonds, there's been a run on pet-friendly ice melt. As you can see, we uh, are completely out of this at the moment. They do have snow shovels and they were flying off the shelves. Getting ready for the snow today. That's it. There's nothing in uh, Olympia area. So I'm in the Costco, Fred Meyer, Tractor Supply, Walmart, all out. This is like the Holy Grail right here. Right, thank you and have a good day. Thanks, you too. Tim Coley has to work for State Patrol tomorrow. He wouldn't mind if this shovel ended up collecting dust, but he'll help his neighbors before he heads out. Thank you. Got a couple uh, elderly ladies that live in my neighborhood, so I usually shovel them all out and then go out, go out to work. They're out of faucet cover, snow melt, and running low on some of the other supplies, but they've got another shipment coming tomorrow if the truck can get over the pass. Managers say more people appear to be planning ahead for this storm. That scared a lot of people, including caught a lot of people off guard. So this year we're uh, learning from lessons from last year. I'm back out here live tonight in Everett. You could see snow really starting to come down here tonight. So far, people are seem to be getting okay, getting by okay on the streets out here. Once again, that off ramp on I-5 North at 164 Street Southwest has reopened, but the conditions are a little dicey. State Patrol saying if you don't have to drive, you probably should stay home at this point because that storm is starting to move in. We're live tonight in Everett. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Amy, thank you. Great advice there. Now we want to go back out to I-5 right near Linwood, the spot that Amy was talking about earlier. Traffic is now moving along down there after it shut down for a little bit, but look at all that snow coming down that is definitely going to cause even more traffic problems. Our Stephen Kilbreth, he's been keeping an eye on what's going on. Stephen, what are you seeing? And what Amy mentioned is uh, interesting, right? The, uh, the snow is falling in some spots and it is staying off of the roadway and you can see it actually a pretty clear road right here. Now, when it first started about two hours or so ago, two and a half hours ago, it was really causing some problems on the roadway. The reason they had to close that ramp is because cars couldn't get up the ramp and so they were spinning their wheels and things like that. But that's I-5 at Alderwood. We take a look at another shot here at the Everett Mall Way. You can see traffic much slower here because of the uh, impact of the roadways that the snow is having. We take a look at 527 at 132nd and Mill Creek where it is still falling right now. So some places we're going to see that. And here's a look at uh, Carnation Duval uh, in between those two cities right here at 203 at the roundabout at 124th and snow on the roadway there could be affecting Novelty Hill Road and lots of other places in that area as well. So snow in Bellingham, Everett, it's kind of a hit and miss in some spots in the north end as well and the south sound seeing it as well. Wanted to show you where where we were seeing it on some of the roadways there. You can see between Everett and Linwood traffic is going to be pretty bad up north through Bellingham by Lake Samish. Things are going to be a little uh, treacherous for driving conditions. And of course, over towards Aberdeen and up near Port Angeles, where Craig was mentioning that there was going to be a lot of snow possibly in the Port Angeles area later on today on the Olympic Peninsula. Craig. 
Yeah, it does look like a lot of that. Uh, thanks to the wind coming in out of the north and northeast, what it does is move right over the strait, picks up some of the moisture, and then it gives uh, places like Port Angeles the higher accumulations. We could see one to three inches of snowfall across the lower line areas, and we do have another look at some of the cameras as well. We'll start off in Everett. Boy, look at all of that pain field. You can't even make out the runway here. Uh, some gusty winds at times this evening will also bring the visibility down. Here's a shot of Marysville. So uh, a lot of you are getting the snow. Some of you getting rain snow mix. It's hit or miss across the northwest interior. And then you head over to Arlington, Everett. You can see the snow there. Uh, and then down over to uh, Port Angeles, Crescent, Highway 101. Yeah, very slick on the road there. You can see all the white here is the snow that's coming down. I've taken away the satellite. It's just radar. How about Tacoma? Nothing. You've got nothing going on along the Kitsap Peninsula. A whole lot of cloud cover. That's about it. But the winds will pick up as well through this evening, especially through through the convergence zone from Snohomish County to King County as the winds come together we could see some more snow fall through also tomorrow right through South Puget Sound it looks like again estimates from one to three inches Vanessa I'll have more on Futurecast and talk about those winds in just a moment Craig thank you and one of those spots seeing a rain and snow mixture has been Bellingham our Tony Black is live from there Tony what have you been seeing tonight Hello to you, Vanessa. So for the last like 10 or 15 minutes or so, there's been a little bit of snow, then it stops, then a little bit of snow, and then it stops again. And it's kind of been like that since the time that we've been up here. When we were making our way up here, we actually saw more of a rain snow mix kind of in those areas where Amy's at in the Everett and in the Linwood area. But when we were heading up here early around 315, it was pretty much clear there was some rain as you're probably seeing in the video right now. As we were making our way up here, it looked like snow, but it quickly turned to water. We went downtown, went over to the Fred Meyer to kind of talk to some people who were doing either some winter prep or Seahawk prep, depending on what we asked them. But we talked to them about their expectations for the snowfall, and it's safe to say that some were more excited for the snow than others. I hate it. You hate it? I hate it. it. But it's not doing it right now. It said that it was going to, but it's not. What were you expecting as far as snowfall today? Pretty much this. Usually we get forecasts for snow and we get a few flakes and then it kind of rains out. I'm hoping it does snow, actually. You want the snow? Oh, yeah, I want the snow. You're a fan of the snow. I love the snow. So back out here live now you can see just a few simple flakes are falling down right now. As I mentioned, the last 10 minutes or so, it's kind of been an off and on thing. There's still a good amount of rain too that is falling in between these times. So we're going to be hanging out here through the night, so we'll keep you up to date on how the snowfall looks up here in Bellingham. But for now, I'll send it back down to you guys in the studio. All right, Tony, thank you very much. And you know, it's times like these when the weather especially is on that cusp of rain and snow. You don't know thank what you. it's going to do. It comes in handy to download the King 5 app where you can get an idea of what the weather conditions are. We have an interactive radar on there so you can see where exactly the snow is going to hit in your area. You can just text the word app to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you a link that you can download it.